Let's continue and finish up the nuclear chemistry questions from the 2015 New York State Regions exam. Question 9 is a half-life question. So you're asked what fraction of strontium-90 sample remains unchanged after 87.3 uh, years. The way I like to do these questions is I make two columns. One for mass, the other for time. And since they're asking about a fraction remaining, the mass I'm going to start with is 1. The time I'm starting with is 0. Now, it's going to um, asking you about what's remaining after 87.3 uh, years. So that's what we have to get to. 87.3 years, we're dealing with strontium-90. So I need to go to the reference tables and find the half-life for strontium-90, which is 29.1. So, after we've hit 29.1 years, we have half of our original mass. Another 29.1 years goes by, which is a total of 58.2. I have half of a half, which is a quarter. Another 29.1 years goes by, and here I am at my 87.3, and I have half of a quarter, which is an eighth. The answer is an eighth. So I like to use the table. So as I'm going into the future, I have every time I hit a half-life, but the time you're adding 29.1 each time. So you're not doubling or anything. It's, it's plus 29.1, plus 29.1, plus 29.1 until I hit the total time that's passed. This is a one way to do it. Your teacher might have shown you another way. If you're getting to the answer either way, and just use whatever you're most comfortable with. For question 10, positrons and beta particles. What's the same? What's different? So this is a two-for-one type question. So positrons and beta particles. Well, I can use the help of reference table O. I'm looking for positrons and beta particles. And right away I can tell that the charges are different. Beta par particles are negatively charged. Positrons are positively charged. So different charges. So I'm going to go ahead and cross out cho choices 1 and 2. And what's the same or different? Well, if I take a look at their masses, both of them have 0 for their masses. So their masses then are the same. So different charges, same masses, which is choice 3. And finally, for question 11, which term identifies a type of nuclear reaction? Type of nuclear reaction can be called a transmutation. There is a question that relates back to definitions. That's why your definition list and making sure you know your terms is so important, along with, of course, all the other information. Keep working hard, and good luck.